All right, what up, y'all? It's Matt. So I'm going to show y'all a two-second tip here for getting these uh, brake master cylinder screws out. All right, so here's the trick right here. So I tried everything, right, to get these off. I tried, you know, the impact driver with all these adapters and like a number two Phillips bit or whatever size it is, you know, little bit in there and try to get it out, try to finer bit, you know, try to hammer bits in that soft, the really soft screws, try to hammer bits in there, try to make it into a flathead. Nothing worked. This is what worked for me. What we did was we got um, some nuts, you know, that were a little bit, a little bit smaller than the head so that it doesn't damage around there. And then I got like a cheap, you know, Harbor Freight welder. It's like a $90 Harbor Freight welder. And just put the nut on there, put wet jeans, um, you know, slide welding gloves all over stuff, you know, slide a welding glove on here. Just soak everything um, that you're putting on here, like, you know, wet rags, uh, wet towels, whatever. Soak it down good, protect the screen and stuff. And then you just get in there with the welder and just just uh, ground it out right here on the, the brake lever. That's what I did. And just tack it on there real quick and back it out. And it worked flawlessly. And you can see we got them replaced with some uh, hex head Allen key screws here. And it's flawless. And it allows you to tighten it down better so that it doesn't leak. Because um, those stupid Phillips screws, I don't know who decided to use them. They're on the four-wheeler over there that I've been working on. Um, they just strip out instantly. And they're on my dirt bike. They strip out instantly. So you can see right here um, what we had to do. It's pretty ridiculous, but we got them all out except for one. This is the replacement screw, and we just took the old ones with the nut on there, you know, to the hardware store and just matched them up, and they were a perfect match. Um, I'll post links in the description. We'll all post, you know, the exact size of what worked for this vehicle um i'll post the the screw size in the description the thread pitch pretty sure it was 0.7 or 0.75 thread pitch they're metric so just take the old one with you and uh i'll tell y'all down there exactly what they were but yeah it's pretty ridiculous that you have to do this to get them out but there was no other way all right, y'all, so that's it for the video. Like I said, just soak everything down in wet rags so that you don't burn up your plastics and, you know, get little splatter pieces melted in the plastic and so you don't burn up your master cylinder and stuff. Don't get it super hot. Just make sure, you know, tack it and then let it cool and back it out. So you could try JB Weld. I don't know how well it's going to work. Um, probably a lot of y'all aren't going to have access to a welder, but if you don't have access to a welder, you know, you can get a, a nut like that, set it on top and put some JB Weld down in there, clean everything up well, put JB Weld down in there and back it out like that. But there's such a pain in the butt to get out because once it strips out, you can't grab it. You can't do anything. You can't use it easy out. You can't really drill it out. You can't do anything. So the nut welding trick worked a hundred percent of the time. I just want to share it with y'all. As for now, I'm out. Um, if you enjoyed the video, drop me a huge thumbs up down below. Don't forget to comment and subscribe because I got plenty more ATV repair videos coming out on my Suzuki Vincent rebuild. But uh, I'm out, y'all. Peace.